Spark comes on the 28th of June in the city of Sarajevo. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, is assassinated by a 19-year-old Slav nationalist named Gavrilo Princip. Austro-Hungary accuses its Balkan rival Serbia of having aided the assassin and sends an ultimatum demanding humiliating concessions. Serbia rejects the ultimatum and Austro-Hungary declares war. Within hours, Austrian forces are shelling Belgrade. The Russian Tsar, Nicholas II, feels honor bound to defend Serbia, a fellow Slav nation, and orders the Russian army to mobilize. German Emperor Wilhelm II has promised his support to Austro-Hungary. He and his generals see conflict with Russia as inevitable, and the sooner the better, as Russian strength grows year on year. Russian mobilization is used to justify German mobilization, followed by a declaration of war on Russia. Germany knows war with Russia means war with Russia's ally, France. It has developed the Schlieffen plan to meet this threat of a war on two fronts. First, its armies will advance rapidly through neutral Belgium to encircle and destroy French armies near Paris and win a quick victory. Then its forces can move east to deal with Russia, whose huge army will take much longer to mobilize. And so Germany declares war on France. Six million men are now marching to war across Europe.